Hey there, it's Justin answering your questions from joincfe.com slash knock. Today's question is about where to put business logic when you're using the Django REST framework. Realistically, where to put business logic in Django when you plan on using an API or some other services. So there's a few things on how to do this. I'm actually gonna link, link a article below that describes a lot of these different things in detail. But what I'm gonna talk about and how I like to use business logic is typically in forms, which is not relevant to Django REST framework. So you would use serializers, but in that you might also have utility functions or services. So a lot of times you'll see a utils.py file in my code, which other people use services.py file, where they'll write a lot of this business logic. So what exactly is business logic? It's grabbing something that's related to your code that's not necessarily performing a query on or as something on the database, right? It's not doing CRUD exactly. It might be doing CRUD, and if it is doing CRUD, then I use model managers. Model managers then handle the CRUD things for me, and in some cases, serializers do that as well. Model managers from Django are built in to do CRUD. There's a delete method, there's a save method, there's the create method. There's all of these kind of built in things to do that sort of logic. Now, but if you want something else like list of logged in users, you should create some sort of service or a utility function that actually handles that for you, that actually gets that out for you. So it's not done in models, it's not done in serializers, it's not done in views, instead it's done in this utility function and that actually brings it out. A lot of times you might see that inside of a model manager as well because model managers manage the model, they manage that data, but it, as far as collecting data and doing things on a more practical scale, I always typically use a utility function that usually exists in utils.py. And that's actually true with the API. The API is its own module that we put in that we separate out from the standard Django views, the standard Django URLs and standard Django views. We create our own API module to handle everything that's related to the API. Um, this is something that you'd see if you actually worked through our Django REST framework project stuff. Uh, but as far as the business logic is concerned, I put into a utility function or a utility module that might be related to the specific app or it might be related to the entire project. I actually try to design things related to how Django does it. So if I were to do some sort of middleware, which you can do, you would make your own middleware module for that. Utility functions are mirrored or I put it in utils.py versus what some other developers do is services.py. I put in utils.py because there's a lot of Django built-in utilities that handle business logic, like, like get time zone, for example, like the time zone and actually getting the time zone of the requested user. That's a utility function that Django has built. And that is a logic that's not related to creating, destroying, or retrieving data. It's just about understanding where the user is from. When I say retrieving data, of course, I mean from the database, not from the actual user. And then another thing about business logic that you have to think about is, it, is it's not really related to presentation, right? So um, views are related to presentation. They actually get the data and then render it with the HTML template and then they present that to the user, right? So that data is already kind of in there. There shouldn't be a whole lot of logic that's happening in there um, to actually present that data, whether it's even working with a form. So the form itself, so forms.py, that actually handles a lot of that business logic that would be going on through there. And that's true with serializers.py. Serializers, serializers, Django REST framework serializers and Django forms are very, very similar. They're actually modeled after, or the Django REST framework modeled their serializers after Django forms because they actually work very much like it in many respects with the exception of it adds one extra abstraction or one extra layer to it. And that is providing a serialized version of whatever model you're working with. And then you can actually see that data. But when it comes back to the business logic stuff, a lot of times you'll put it in a utils.py file or you'll put it in a model manager um, or you'll use signals, which is also in models.py. Um, a lot of those things you work in together with each other. Um, another thing that you could do is something called tasks.py. Um, using something like Celery, that can actually handle a lot of your business logic as well, um, but you would use it in conjunction with something like utils.py or services.py. 
So if you have any questions on that, let us know. Thanks so much. Ask, this is a really good question. Definitely check out that link below because um, that's gonna go into more depth on all of these things here that we're just not gonna cover in a few minutes. But it is interesting to see other people's perspectives on this stuff. I think it's a really good question. Uh, thanks so much. Answering your questions at joincfe.com slash knock.